I've got 500 grams of strong white bread flour in a bowl. I'm going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt and about a teaspoon of charcoal. If you don't want the charcoal, just leave it out. Just mix all that together. That's looking pretty good. Let's add 125 grams of sourdough starter. And 300 ml of filtered water or spring water, something, something that's not uh, got chlorine in it. I want to slow down the yeast. So bring it together with a fork initially. And we just have to try and combine it with your hand. That's looking a little bit dry, so I'm just, I will add maybe a tablespoon of water. Just to bring that last bit of flour together. I'm just mixing that together, I'm not kneading it or anything. And clean my fingers off. And that's all you need to do. Just gonna leave it overnight, I'll put some um, cling film over the top. And we'll come back in the morning and have a look. So it's been about 15 hours. The dough's looking pretty good. Nice and stretchy. This flour up the bench pretty well. And uh, tip the dough onto the bench. Just use the uh, your scraper to pull the dough together and try and get a tight skin on the top so it'll rise better. That's about all you need to do. Any other thing is I'll uh, coat it with some flour. You don't have to shape it, you can make little bread rolls as shown up there. You can uh, put it in a loaf tin and cook it. You can cook it in the oven if you want to. Pretty much do what you like. So it's ready to pop in the bowl with a bit of um, baking paper. That's extra wide baking paper, it's about 38 centimetres wide, I get it from Aldi. It's a nice square piece instead of a long piece. I'll just uh, try and get any real creases out of the paper and just tuck it in. Put the plastic back on top. And we'll just wait for another. Usually takes about two hours. So it's about half an hour away from when I think the bread will be proved, so it's been about an hour and a half. I've put a pot in the oven, preheated the oven to 230. And the dough's ready. So it's two hours, the, hot, the, uh, the uh, pot's heated up. Going to sprinkle some flour on it, and the reason is to, apart from it looking good, is to uh, I want to um, put a cut in the top so the flour just helps the knife not stick to it. Okay, the pot's very hot. Just going to take it out and lift up the uh, bread, paper and all. Throw it in. Just going to pull it back a little. And then I'm going to use my lamb to make a cut in the top. And you can use box cutters, work well. Whatever you like. Put the 
a lid on. And back in the oven. Set the timer for 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes. Just gonna take it, take it out. Take the lid off and remove the paper. Just put it back in the oven without the lid on. We're gonna cook it for another 10 minutes. Still at 230 degrees. You can cook it a bit longer if you want a thicker skin on it or crustier. And that's it finished. That's 10 minutes. It's quite quite crisp. Just take it out and let it cool on a rack. Looks good. If you like you can use a thermometer. It should be 96 degrees. That's 97. Perfect.